Samsung's next big software leap might just be closer than anyone expected, and it's not just another update. This time, it feels like Samsung is quietly preparing something far bolder under the surface. Early signs show that One UI 9 isn't just an upgrade to polish what's already there, it's a full rethinking of how Galaxy devices should feel. Hey everyone, Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy staying ahead of the curve with everything Galaxy, make sure to like this video, share it with your fellow Samsung fans, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss what's coming next. Now, back to the juicy stuff. One UI 9 has officially entered early development. Leaked test builds are already surfacing in Samsung's internal software trackers, and what's fascinating is how early this is happening. It hints that Samsung wants to roll out its next major Android version sooner than usual. And if history repeats itself, that means the Galaxy S26 series might debut with One UI 9 right out of the box. But the question buzzing across the entire Galaxy community right now is, who's actually getting this update? Because Samsung's update policies have changed, and for once, it's good news. The company now promises up to seven years of Android updates for its flagships. That's a record breaking move in the Android world. And it means even phones that launched years ago could still join the One UI 9 wave. Here's where things get really interesting. Based on everything we've seen so far, the Galaxy S22, S23, S34, and S25 lineups are safe. Twins 3 and S24 fan editions are also clear winners. On the mid-range side, the A15, A16, A25, A26, A35, and A36 5G models are likely on the list too. And yes, all recent foldables, from the Z Flip 5 and Fold 5 up to the upcoming Fold 7 and Flip 7, are expected to qualify. Even the tablet family isn't being left behind. The Tab S9, Tab S9 FE, and the upcoming Tab S10 series should all receive one UI 9. Now here's something that might surprise you. One UI 9 is being built on Android 17, the same foundation expected to power the next wave of smart AI integrations. This is where Samsung's long-term strategy becomes clear. The company isn't just chasing design anymore. It's going all in on AI. Gemini, powered smart features are reportedly being woven deeper into the system, meaning your phone will soon start to think and adapt to you in entirely new ways. Think of a phone that automatically predicts what you're about to do, from suggesting quick replies to summarizing your notes or even rewriting text for you. This isn't just coming, it's already in testing. Samsung's internal dev teams are reportedly experimenting with Gemini integration in core apps like Samsung Notes, Gallery, and even the keyboard. But don't get too comfortable yet, because as exciting as this sounds, One UI 9 might also come with some limitations. Historically, Samsung tends to test its biggest upgrades in select countries first, like Korea, Germany, or the US, before the global rollout. That means while you might hear about One UI 9 beta testing soon, not everyone will get access at the same time. And this is where some Galaxy fans are starting to worry. Will Samsung repeat the same region, restricted beta policy again? Adding to the confusion, Samsung support has already made a few questionable statements online some customer service reps have been caught giving out misleading information about the update rollout. A viral chat screenshot even showed a support agent falsely claiming that the One UI 8 beta had launched in markets it actually didn't. So yeah, the misinformation problem is real, and it's making the wait for One UI 9 even more dramatic. Still, here's the good part. The leaks we have right now are reliable. Internal firmware tags show Samsung is testing One UI 9 builds for several devices simultaneously, meaning this isn't just in concept stages anymore. Development is in motion. Now let's talk design, because leaks suggest Samsung might finally be giving One UI a fresh visual identity. We're talking smoother blur effects, modern widget layouts, and redesigned notification panels with iOS, like polish but Galaxy level control. Sources say Samsung is also working on new lock screen customization tools, giving users deeper control over clock styles, animations, and even wallpaper transitions. Another rumored upgrade is a smarter control center. Instead of just copying iOS, Samsung might introduce a layout where users can fully rearrange toggles, sliders, and modules, even leaving blank spaces for a cleaner aesthetic. Early testers describe it as the most fluid control panel Samsung has ever built. And then there's speed, Apparently, Samsung is optimizing animation timing and system responsiveness from the ground up. The early leaks suggest smoother app transitions, faster unlock animations, and a new system level refresh effect that feels instantly responsive. Combine that with AI-based performance tuning, 
and one UI 9 could end up feeling dramatically faster, even on older devices. The deeper question, though, is how far Samsung will take AI this time. Because with Gemini now at the heart of its ecosystem, we could see things like AI, generated wallpapers, voice, guided editing tools, and predictive task shortcuts built directly into one UI. Imagine sending a photo to a friend, and your phone automatically enhances the image or suggests a caption based on context. That's the level of intelligence Samsung is chasing. So when will all this arrive? If we follow Samsung's usual timeline, One UI 9 should make its first public appearance alongside the next Galaxy S26 series, likely early next year. But internal test builds showing up this early strongly suggest the beta program could begin sooner than expected, possibly before the end of this year. And if you're wondering whether your phone will qualify, here's the simple rule of thumb. If your device launched with Android 16 or newer, or if it's a flagship released after 2022, you're likely in the clear. Samsung's new long-term update promise means a lot more Galaxy users will enjoy One UI 9 than in past generations. All signs point to One UI 9 being the most complete version of Samsung's software yet, one that fuses clean visuals, smarter AI, and deeper personalization like never before. And honestly, if Samsung nails the balance between intelligence and simplicity, this could mark the start of a new Galaxy era, one where software finally becomes the star of the show. So, Galaxy fans, what's the one feature you want most in One UI 9? Is it design, AI, or just faster, smoother performance? Drop your thoughts below. I'm really curious what you'd prioritize. And hey, if you enjoyed this early deep dive, don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow Samsung fans, and subscribe to the channel for more One UI and Galaxy updates. Big things are coming, and you won't want to miss them.